First of all, I want to say to all you moms, I hope you had a great day yesterday. We love you, we appreciate you, who you are and all that you do. Well, this last weekend, we started our new series, Unshakable. And for the next six weeks, we're gonna go through the book of 1 Peter. In a world filled with uncertainty, hardships, challenges, weeds, as we mentioned in the last series, it's easy for our faith to waver. So Peter reminds us of our unshakable hope in Jesus Christ. Life may present us with challenges and difficulties, maybe even persecution, but we can find comfort and strength in knowing that our hope is not in this world, but in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now, one of the focal points from the message that I really want to highlight today is how important it is to understand our identity as Christ followers. We are chosen by God. We're His elect people. So in God's mind and heart, I want you to know that you stand out to God. I've always liked what Max Lucado writes. If God had a refrigerator, your picture would be on it. If God had a wallet, your photograph would be in it. He sends you flowers every spring. He gives you a sunrise every morning. And whenever you want to talk, he's willing to listen. He can live any place in the entire universe, but he chooses to reside in your heart. Face it, friends, he says, he's crazy about you. And this understanding of our identity and the hope that we have in Christ allows us to face our challenges with joy. We are really able to rejoice even in the midst of suffering because we know who we are and that our trials are temporary and that they actually serve a greater purpose. Our faith is tested, it's refined like gold and fire, making us shine brighter and stand out for God as witnesses for Jesus. I think of Romans 8, 18, which says, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. This verse reminds us that the difficulties that we face in this world, again, they're temporary, especially in comparison to the eternal glory that waits all of us. And so we hold on to our hope in Jesus knowing that our light and momentary troubles will result in an eternal weight of glory. Now, there's one more important thing about our identity. Peter tells us that we're called to live as foreigners and strangers in this world, exiles. Why? Because this is not our home. Our true home is in heaven. And as we navigate through the challenges of life, we should be reminded that we're just passing through, that our hope is reserved in heaven for us, where it cannot be taken away and it cannot fade. Hold on to these truths this week.